Have you ever thought about the types of structures that other children call home? There are many different kinds of homes in the world, places that may seem very unusual to you. Let's start our adventure by learning about different kinds of homes that people live in. A traditional yurt is a portable, round tent covered with skins or felt. More modern yurts are often covered with waterproof canvas. The covering is held up by a wooden or bamboo latticework, which makes the weight of the yurt much easier to support. Yurts were first built in Central Asia over 3,000 years ago and probably looked a lot like the picture on the left. Yurts were popular with people who moved around a lot because they could be taken down quickly, carried by camels, and rebuilt in another location. Yurts are still popular today, often used for vacation homes, and probably look more like the picture on the right. Families who live in more country-like areas may live in a farmhouse. Often these homes include barns and other buildings where animals live, and they have open spaces for crops to grow or animals to graze. Wouldn't it be fun to have horses to ride or chickens to lay eggs for your breakfast? Very different to a farmhouse is a home called a row house because there was a long row of homes all attached to each other. Although row houses were first built in Europe many years earlier, the attached design first appeared in the United States in Philadelphia as early as 1799. The Victorian home on your left is based on a design popularized during the reign of England's Queen Victoria, which was from 1837 to 1901. These large homes are easily recognized because most have slate roofs, two or three stories, lots of decorative woodwork, large front porches, gables or turrets, and are painted using several different colors. What a happy home design! They just make me smile! Almost completely opposite from a Victorian home is a much more recent design called a tiny house. These little homes usually range in size from only 100 square feet up to about 400 square feet. People who live in these compact homes are usually looking for a simpler way of life or a less expensive lifestyle. Some, like the one in the picture, are on wheels so they can be easily moved to a different location, while others are more permanently constructed on a traditional building site. Have you ever seen a house with grass growing on the roof? Going back to the Viking and Middle Ages, in Scandinavian countries like Denmark, Norway, and Sweden, people used birch bark covered with sod to insulate roofs and make them waterproof. The sod holds the birch bark in place and cost almost nothing to build. Of course, more modern construction methods have been used for many, many years, but it sure is interesting to think about living in a house with grass growing overhead. Can you imagine living in a lighthouse? Wow, how different would that be? Lighthouses were originally built to direct a very powerful light called a beacon, so ship captains could avoid dangerous coastlines, shoals, and reefs, and safely enter harbors without running aground. Some lighthouses, like the one in this picture, were built in open waters, while others were built along coastlines. Before 1998, when automation took over lighthouse operations, a lighthouse keeper and his family lived in the lighthouse to make sure that the beacon light was always visible to protect ships passing in the night. A very whimsical kind of house is a gingerbread house. Of course, no one can actually live in a house made of gingerbread and candy, but many of us enjoy making these popular decorations during the Christmas holidays. Very complicated works of gingerbread art can be traced all the way back to the 1600s when they were created by master bakers in Germany. Today they have become a Christmas tradition treasured by many families. How would you like your house to be surrounded by water? There is a city in Italy called Venice that sits on small islands that are separated by canals and connected by bridges. Venice is a beautiful, elegant city that influences art, architecture, and literature, and almost 50,000 tourists visit every day. 
The gondola, like you see in this picture, is a favorite method of transportation for those visiting this watery city. As the official residence of the President of the United States, the White House, located in Washington, D.C., is one of the most famous homes in the world. Since 1800, every U.S. president and their family has lived in this beautiful home. The White House sits on 18 beautifully landscaped acres, which were originally designed by Frederick Law Olmsted, who is also credited for the beauty of Central Park in New York City. I hope you've had fun looking at these interesting houses. There are lots and lots of different sizes and styles that people around the world called home. Just remember that famous line, there's no place like home. Thanks for joining me and please come back again when I travel to other locations and fun places.